Hi, and welcome. Thank you for joining. In this video, I will be making sweet potato slips using the soil method. This approach is a much faster way in my experience. The first step is to choose a healthy organic sweet potato. Shown here are leftovers of the cured purpose sweet potatoes from last year's harvest. I stored the sweet potatoes in a dark cool place using a box. Temperature should remain between 55 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If you keep the roots above 60 degrees Fahrenheit for extended periods, sprouts may begin to appear as shown here. Uh, they are beginning to sprout from the top of the sweet potato root. So this gives me a head start in generating sweet potato slips. To produce the slips, lay the sweet potato on their sides in the pot with soil. They could be oriented vertically, but since they um, started the sprouting process, with the sweet potatoes laying horizontally in storage, I am keeping them that way. Cover the sweet potatoes with about two inches of moist soil and keep them between 75 degrees and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When the sprouts developed to your ideal size, then you could remove them with a twisting tug. So here, eight days later, um, this is what they are uh, like and so I will wait for them to continue to grow before transplanting them. So here we have, um, this is May 4th, this is 16 days later from the time I placed them in the pots. So we see the sprouts emerge above the soil, the growth rate is increasing and some slips can be removed and replaced in starter pots. So here they are um, 18 days later, they are progressing well. And now it is time to do the transplants into individual pots so that the individual slips could further develop. So here at 19 days later, since setting the roots in these pots, I'll be doing the transplant. So in with this process, remove gently, you are um, twisting and tugging the vines, placed in place in the individual starter pots. Additional transplants will form from these bedded sweet potatoes if left in place and I will certainly leave them in place so they can sprout additional slips. Water the plants immediately after they are transplanted. So the good thing is some of um, the slips, most of them, they have root system already, so um, they will become established in uh, these parts quickly. So today I was able to get a total of 19 slips in the individual pots as shown here. Hopefully I'll have all the slips planted in the garden by the end of May or the first week in June. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to the Petersville Farm Channel. Thank you.